Hey guys, Pro here at VIP Outdoors, and today I want to go over what I consider to be three of the best lures that we put behind a 360 Dodger while fishing Astoria. And yeah, we make them all. So surprise, surprise, right? Okay, check this out though. Let's go and get started. Let's start with the basics for those of you who are maybe new to the 360 system. We have our line lock up here, which stops any transfer of line twist from going down here up to your main line. Clip our weight on there. Six speed chain swivel, 18 to 24 inch bumper, either titanium or heavy mono. Your pro troll of your choice is year in year out work so why change it right good old-fashioned chrome from pro troll okay then what we do the important part right what makes them actually bite and what holds on to them while we're getting them put in the net number one and i'm gonna consider this one of the same our 3.5 colorado spinner you guys are very familiar with that 3.5 colorado spinner that um, hit the market i don't know probably six seven years ago now deadly absolutely deadly sorry i was trying to clip it on there but very important that you have a piece of terminal tackle there i use a number three mighty mini stainless steel swivel 40 pound line and i use 31 inches when i'm in astoria i use 31 inches when i'm going directly to my spinners here okay that's a three and a half colorado and again i'm gonna consider a spinner one in the same and then second is our 3.5 cascade our 3.5 Cascade, again, same swivel, 31 inches a liter. Oops. 31 inches a liter down to our 3.5 Cascade. If you don't know when to use Colorado versus Cascade, we have another video on, on how to determine when to use which one or the other. Um, but again, dragging a straight 3.5 spinner behind your 360, Pro Troll, year in and year out catches fish. Now, when do we use it in Astoria? I think that's probably the biggest hang up with people and maybe one of the biggest challenges. So when I go to a spinner, whether it be Colorado or Cascade, is when we have fish staging. So how do we determine if a fish is staging or, yet or not? That's when I rely on my electronics. So you see a few different marks on your electronics there. Some of them are gonna be fish passing through, which you're gonna see streaks and they're gonna be suspended. When I see a very definite humped up fish there on the bottom, a nice upside down banana mark, whatever you wanna call it, but it's a nice red spot. And I make laps over that fish or those fish and I see them and they're not moving. That's a staged fish. They're not planning on moving for, I don't know, maybe couple minutes maybe a day maybe a tide series whatever it is but that tells me that they're staging and that's when i go to a straight 3.5 colorado or 3.5 cascade second is our anchovy leader but in all honesty i think it just blew over the edge of the boat yup it's on the ground so we're gonna skip the anchovy leader for now we're gonna go to what we call our Alaska spinner. Our Alaska spinner is this right here. This one's our white Alaska spinner. Sorry, just getting it out of the package, pain in the butt. Here's what it is. It's pre-crimp, 80 pound mono. Again, same type of stainless steel swivel comes down you have a detachable clevis you have our tube fly you have another detachable clevis and a single siwash owner four out hook what's really neat about this is when i drag this behind a pro troll and a fish rails on it we land more fish on this when they do bite it than anything else when they bite this and they are yanking on it and they are hooked they're not going anywhere they that one that single side wash four out a lot of times in all honesty will go up and it'll come out right by their eyeball i mean it's directly hooked through cartilage okay so i suggest when you fish this tighten that drag up a little bit nothing's going to give that fish has to give okay there's nothing that's going to break on here so anyways that's our alaska spinner then what i do is i take our blade packs here 
Um, sorry, the sun's going right now. But it's just a six compartment pack and it, I have all my favorite 3.5 Colorados in there, Cascades, whatever it might be. I just go through and I clip out whichever color I want. When do we use the Alaska spinner? I use that Alaska spinner and I find it most effective when I see fish riding the tide. And riding the tide, when I say that is tide's coming in, the fish are just hanging with the tide and they keep going up river, keep it going up river, or the tide starts sucking them out. And how do we know that they're, they're doing that? Well, when you go trolling through somewhere, if you get bit or catch a fish, I always mark it. I always mark a waypoint. If it's a new area for me, mark a waypoint, mark a waypoint. And then I go back, if I don't get bit in the next five, 10 minutes, I pick up and I run a lap on those fish. I come down through there. I know exactly right where I went through because of my tracks and my waypoint. If I now get bit going with the tide or further into the tide, so say the tide's going out, if I don't get bit where I caught the last one, but I, another hundred yards out towards the ocean going with the tide that tells me that those fish are just hanging with the tide when those fish are riding the tide this alaska spinner whew, they feel like they're in the ocean and they're in feed mode and this thing absolutely puts the wood to them i have hand line over 15 pound chinook into the boat with this and let them flop 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 and they hit the deck okay a great piece of equipment and the last one is the anchovy spinner um I'm gonna jump down and get it. I'll be right back, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. So our last one is our anchovy leaders. Our anchovy leaders, we sell them just like so. 31 inch liter, excuse me, we actually sell them in five foot liters, but cut them down to 31 inches to 35 inches, depending on how big your anchovy is. The bigger the anchovy, the harder it is gonna be able to churn because of the more drag. So stre stretch it out to up to 35 inches. Then what we have comes with detachable clevis, three and a half cascade, bead, hoochie, two owner, four out hooks spread three and a half inches apart. We have a video on how we rigged that anchovy in here to give it the nice little bend. But <clears throat> this is probably one of my favorite presentations behind the 360 when we have fish that are moving through, when we have fish that are on the move. So remember how I said, when you see fish on the screen that are streaks, those fish aren't staging, they're more concerned about moving. You're gonna get a lot of short bites at that time. When you get those short bites, what you want to do is you want to give them you want to entice all their all their senses okay so you got your feel their smell their sight absolutely everything and you're able to do that with the anchovy leader because you have an anchovy spinning on there then you have the blade and the hoochie presentation so when they come up and nip at it even if they miss that anchovy and just straighten it out where if you're fishing a regular anchovy they just be gone now you still have that blade spinning and they feel like they haven't finished what they started so they got to come back and they stick with it they stick with it they stick with it so you're gonna get more opportunity at those fish that are moving through which generally speaking are a little bit tougher fish to target so guys those are my three favorite presentations behind a 360 pro troll when we're in astoria again anchovy leader alaska spinner and either one of our 3.5 spinners. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope that helps. Please feel free to leave your questions down in the comments and we'll go from there.